Hi, I'm Dan from Custom Carts. Today we'll be doing the rear lift kit installation on our club car precedent. I'm just going to start by pulling the wheel. So when installing the Jake's lift kit, it basically takes the original suspension from a spring under and puts it to a spring over. Jake's includes everything, including new U-bolts, uh, spacer blocks, and everything you need for the rear. I get a lot of questions over the phone, what special tools do I need to do the rear of this lift kit? Any do-it-yourselfer can do it in the driveway with a floor jack and some good jack stands. So step one of the Jake's rear lift is to disconnect the original shock mount and the U-bolt. It's a 5.8 five socket and I'm using an air ratchet but basic hand tools will work. Now with a 9.16 socket I can disconnect the lower shock mount. Now these rubber bushings and shock spacers will be reused, so do not discard those. The next step in this procedure, we have to take off the lower U-bolt bracket. Now it is held on by a grasping brake cable. Now we use a tool designed from Club Car to compress those, but you can also get away using some channel locks. These holes here on the lower shock mount and spring bracket need to be drilled bigger. We've drilled our lower shock bracket. We've drilled it out with a 916 drill bit. So 916 is the size you'll have to use. So the next step is we're going to have to disconnect the spring assembly itself and remove it from the spring under position to put it to the spring over position using a 10 mil socket and a 13 mil wrench. So as you guys can see I've only done one side at a time. What this does is it prevents the transaxle assembly or anything dropping out. What we're going to do is we're going to lower our center jack down low enough to do the lift kit on one side at a time. Um, it's a greater risk of uh, the motor assembly falling on you if you attempt to do both sides at the same time. I'm just going to lower down the center jack now to put the lift kit on the, uh, the passenger side. lift kit for the rear comes with your lift blocks, your upper new shock mount, and your anodized U-bolt. I'm going to start reinstalling this and show you how the lift goes back in. We will be using the original hardware we removed out of the spring assembly itself and now we're going to reinstall the uh, spring back into the shackle mount. We'll do the same for the rear. If you notice with the lift blocks in the rear, there's a center hole for your dowel for your spring. 
Failure to line these up will allow the rear end to slide in the lift kit assembly itself. You notice that the dowel assembly slides into the lift block, preventing any slipping. Now we'll be reinstalling our lower shock plate back under our brake cable. We'll be installing the U-bolt into the upper shock mount now. And the new U-bolt slides into the lower shock bracket. Jake's provides stainless hardware with nylock lock washers. I'm just gonna tighten the side. We'll just be tightening up the lower U-bolts now. It's a three-quarter inch sock. We're going to reinstall our shock hardware onto the new Jake's upper shock bracket. So now the last step to do on this side is to tighten up our shackle bolts and then the passenger side is complete. Just going to tighten that up. 10 mil socket, 13 mil wrench. Now that the passenger side is complete, we're going to move on and do the driver's side. Now that we've got both rear lift blocks and everything tightened down in the rear, what we're going to do is we're just going to jack the car up, install our new wheels and remove the jack stands. Now we've gotten everything tight and secure on the rear of this uh, Jake's Lift Kit project. What I'm going to do now is just install both tires. We can take it off the stands and we're all done. to do now is remove the jack stands, put it on the ground, and enjoy our new lift kit. I hope this instruction video helped.